Okay, I've been to a Hammer of Defiance at uh, the, uh, uh, the Nottingham uh, Galleries of Justice, uh, and it's uh, been absolutely fantastic. Talk about art, pornography, the difference between them, um, a bit about censorship, and I'd say mostly just about the context of viewing art and how that can influence whether it's viewed as art or pornography. Um, it was about the 1831 Reform Act and the... Um, the radicals and the rebels against it. We've been to um, see the play about the Luddites at the, um, to, where are we, Galleries of Justice. <laughs> um, the film called We Are Many. I've been part of the band for yep. uh, the Hammer of Defiance at Galleries of Justice. Um, so it was a lecture on censorship. Um, art with given by a university lecturer and an artist. I've come along to see The Hammer of Defiance at the Galleries of Justice, a uh, play about the Luddite Rebellion. Well, the event was a guided walk around part of the um, specific areas and places that um, came to the attention of rioters during the 1831 reform riots. What a great piece of work, the collaboration between the, sort of the writer, director, uh, fantastic local actors, the music as well, with the band and the singing. Uh, it's, uh, that was outstanding. really enjoyed the artist artwork, <laughs> so to me that was, in a visual way, a really good statement that she made. So, so even if she hadn't explained in detail what her intentions were, I think she did a really fantastic job. Um, so that was definitely quite exciting. And then the discussion afterwards was also quite, um, I found, quite stimulating. I just thought it was very interesting, um, you know, it's uh, not the usual kind of, uh, I suppose, uh, prescribed city centre type of event, uh, seemed very offbeat to me, so that was, was of interest to me really. Fun, great fun, the show's are great fun, those are great folk tunes that we sourced uh, last year and, and kind of collected the, the lyrics and tunes and mashed them together, so it's all period music, but it's great fun, yeah. yeah. It was really interesting, yep. I really enjoyed it. It was great to see so many people involved and it was great to find out more about the history of Nottingham and the things that we know, that we, we use the term Luddites but we don't always understand where that came yes. from. It's interesting, their views on art and censorship. <laughs> um, the thing that I thought was very interesting was the, I can't remember the artist's name, that, but how she thought her work uh, was accessible and um, just how it's more down to the audience mm. whether artwork is accessible and it's very much in the audience's hands and I just her opinions on how she wanted it to be that way I thought were extremely interesting. Um interested, born and bred in Nottingham, don't know about a lot of the history of Nottingham, interested in, particularly in social history since it's never what we learnt at school. Um, so yes, very enjoyable event and yeah, very pleased I came. Really passionate story, amazing, mm. really um, very insightful. I'm quite interested in feminism, in art, um, in art forms, so I think that was quite an exciting part of the talk for me, and hopefully it will yeah, influence me in some way. Well, the, the way that um, everybody's come together is quite a, a diverse group of people. It was almost, almost like a mob coming together, really, and um, yeah, it was, it was interesting. I've lived in Nottingham for over 30 years, and uh, I've walked past these places many times, but didn't realise the, um, the social significance of them, really. A yeah. great knowledge of uh, Luddite folk music, which yeah. I didn't have before. <laughs> Thanks, man. Yeah. It's a brilliant film, excellent, well produced, full of all kinds of evocative thoughts, history that we do need to remember. Um, and it was very good to have the conversation afterwards. People could ask questions. The man who produced the film was excellent. Smashing ideas, you know. It was just a great experience. It was well worth what I put it on. But of course, the smashing of the frames or whatever, in the grinding pubs of this early industrial town, um, and it's really brought to life this real human sort of a story, you know, which is uh, quite raw and emotional. Fantastic.